Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. There is a time to face up to our fears and make a quality decision. So I'm saying, Dan, I die. Anytime where they hear Niger people, they talk, say they know go join protest because they know one day, I just they laugh. Many of them never savvy say bad governors don't kill more people than people where don't die for protest. Stray bullets from police, where don't kill Nigerians, where they mind their business, judge for their house, eh? It pass the one where don't keep people where they for protest. I've been obviously. So. Make a repeat with it, I don't talk before. Then I die. Now only one die we get. And any way that die be, now so that die will be. We are a nation full of people who are afraid of dying and have allowed ourselves to merely survive rather than truly, truly be. For how long will we continue to cower in fear and watch our country continue to be destroyed and lives wasted? <laughs> we say we do not want to die, yet we are being killed like chicken. Today, the life of a cow is worth more than the Nigerian life. We have refused to stand up and dare death so we can truly live. We have allowed our slaves to be enslaved under the shadow of death. We are busy thanking God that we survived the latest attack. We forget that yesterday's victims were once survivors. Today's victims were yesterday's survivors and tomorrow's victims would be today's survivor. We've also forgotten that those who have been killed before will not be killed again. And the next to be killed are those of us who are alive. And I ask, who is next? The death we are afraid to face and protest and end to bad governance, we face that death in many deadly traps caused by that same bad governance that we don't want to go and protest. What do we think happens when money is meant to build hospitals and buy equipment for the hospitals are looted, death. What do we think happens when money is meant to fix our roads are looted and cars get involved in accidents because those roads were not fixed, death. What do we think happens when money is meant to fight the war against the soldiers are looted? <laughs> it's still death. Bad governance is killing us every day, and yet. We are afraid of death and refuse to come out and protest against bad governance. <laughs> hey, what an irony. Breathing in oxygen and, and breathing out carbon dioxide. It's not what life, living is not about. It's not the indication of one being alive. It is an indication that we are merely surviving, nothing else. When we keep quiet in the face of injustice because we are afraid to die, then we are truly dead. <laughs> I mean, I... Yeah, um, That's it. Wale Shunka said, mm. the man died in he who keeps silence in the face of tyranny. And then, um, um, also, um, I've forgotten the saying now, but I will remember. Uh, you find that, that, like I said before, you know, Fela said, you know, the reason my people said they fear too much. They fear for the things they not see. Mm -hmm. They fear for the air around us. They no one die. Papa did for house, mama did for house, I get one child. These are things that have been said more than 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's still very to the yet we forget that we are all dying by installments. Mm -hmm. You know, because for failure to take action. And then that's why people will tell you, what's the value of life here? Nothing. We hear it every day. 
you hear, oh, may so rest in peace. Just recently, a young boy from my community, Monde Miko, vibrant, fell sick, and then the next thing, he just died. And all we could say or do is, may so rest Sorry. in peace. Nobody will ask, when will these deaths of young ones stop? And so maybe people like that now, if you ask them, come out, let's go protest, they will say, ah, no, 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 no. Not knowing that death is just waiting by the corner. But if we had taken those steps collectively and decided that, look, enough is this enough, probably a lot of us that have died would be alive today. And so I always say this, if we all, the way we troop out to Canaan land, troop out to Nasfat, troop out to Holy Ghost Congress, and we all troop out like that and say, we we'll just sit down here on the express and won't go anywhere until government takes a decision. Would we'll be able to avoid some of these deaths that we are witnessing okay, let today. Let me take it from there because I think it's easier said than done in the sense that clearly, otherwise we would have done it. But the other side of it is <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I'm trying to. Yeah. I let me, I'm not saying it because I want to pick holes. I'm saying mm -hmm. it because I actually want a practical solution. Mm -hmm. And it for me, practical. it's not at that level yet. Yeah. When people say if we all troop out, the reason people troop out collectively for anything is because there's a consensus, there's an agreement. Even with Aisha's uh, advocacy, I feel the spirit behind it. But I say to myself. It may not go beyond people feeling fired up. Why is that? Because you, people need direction. Those of us who have clarity should step out and, and define what is it that will make someone leave their house and come and agree with you and stand there. For example, I'm coming. Let me, let me get to where I'm going. So for example, you look at, um, and, and before I used to critique this, so I, now I'm seeing it from a different perspective. Um, you take, um, what was this thing that they did? War against, um, people were going against um, the fuel subsidy. There was a united understanding. If anybody who no, stepped no, out no. then was doing again, no, let me finish. No, they were, no, let me finish or you will just interrupt my flow. So people were coming out because they understood what they were coming out for. Mm -hmm. Even when they did Revolution Now earlier on, I wanted to go out. But when it happened yesterday, or is it, I was confused because I looked at all the banners and I said, what is it that I'm going to identify with? So people want to revolt, they're un unhappy, but nobody is helping shape. Because going out and protesting without a goal is a pointless protest. We need to be more defined. So go and sit on the road and say government must do what? What will that do? Until you have a defined agenda, it will not get you anywhere. Bring Back Our Girls was defined. Nothing else. Everything in Nigeria from everything. So nothing let's not is just working. speak for so you don't, sake. you don't pick education and so But you need to, to be pointed now. Will you, so is it everything that will suddenly me, stop? Because me, can I, let, let, me, let me just <laughs> join. Let me, let me quickly say this. Uh, in business, there's this uh, concept that we use, say start, stop, and continue. From time to time, you evaluate what you're doing and see what you want to you know, stop doing, what you want to continue doing, or what you want to start doing. Now, the approach, and I hear you, Aisha. Yeah, the approach in Nigeria here, we found that, look, the people who are protesting, they don't value life. That approach is not working. Can we reevaluate and, you know, look at others? Now, you could, you could now begin to sponsor people who would go there and show them how it's done. It, 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 that aggressive men might not, if it's not working, you change your strategy, well, you doing get sponsor you people who go, protested. wait now, you, you, get, you, get, you get, you get, you get, no, hold on, hold on, no, no, hold on, so what you're doing now is you're now supporting like-minded people who will go there and, you know, show them how it's done, show them that this thing can be done rather than taking the aggressive stand because it is not working. I don't the even people... mind being aggressive if I could see what it is and, and being aggressive now? for... So for, for, for the uh, first time, I, what I want to say is that what do we mean by there should be an agenda? Is the suffering we are suffering not an agenda in itself? Yeah, that's not the government is suffering that we need to come out and protect the, against. The suffering. And this bad governance, it, it comes in different ways. When Chibo guests were abducted, it was because of bad governance. A lot of things, educational system is not good. So hold your pack and whatever it no, is that is you are passionate about, Aisha. come out and be that and, and do no, that. Aisha. Right? I it's think this is what we're saying here. When people no, are saying, oh, to what the way saying. we are protesting, we're all responding to what you say. Which one is not the aggressive? We've been sitting at home, we're dying. We've been sitting at home, bad governance keeps coming through. The, the reason we I don't mind, I don't mind saying this is because. Hold on, let me tell okay. you the reason why Nigerians are not protesting is because they have their fellow citizens that, that are paying stop gap for government. Exactly. Somebody is sick. 
they don't have money, they will come and meet somebody that begs the person you give them money. So what, why would the person demand for uh, a healthcare system when he can come to his fellow citizen and beg for money? Why would somebody demand for Actually, good that could be a reason, but that can be the reason in all circumstances. It can be the reason in all circumstances. It's a reason. But let me just say, with the bring back our girls, with the bring back our girls. We are allowing government to abdicate their responsibilities. Why we are taxing citizens to do that for Let me give you an example. Yesterday, somebody wanted to do epic yeah. And I said, I but don't you know. Guys, why is Becky asking to come is, and protest I, I, against the unemployment? I'm just saying, let's be, let's be, de let's be pointed. I'm, I'm for you. I'm not even against you, I, but I'm saying, okay, let's be deliberate so and let's be, so can, let's be organized can, because. Yes. Uh, Frustration is something we share in common, but to just be frustrated and it is not, protest against no, everything will not no, get us to the promised land. Yeah, we need to be deliberate. Did you hear my last question? So, do we protest based on need? Do we break down this protest? protest so that today, today, today we we'll protest, protest education about, no. yes. Tomorrow, and tomorrow to be health, health, and you know, and, tomorrow, we'll and, and groups for... will be made to form in that sort of. That, I would even rather that. Yeah. Let, let's pick a topic. So let, let's say if it's education. Let's focus on education and drive okay. it through to its logical conclusion. Because yeah. to come out with several placards saying several See, things, you won't know which one you're targeting. Let me first tell you, I have been involved in so many protests. Protest is not. You don't. A lot of people. Everybody is feeling the society differently. Okay. And then collectively, bad governance leads to all of this. Mm -hmm. And advocacy is talking about if we sit down, afraid of death, to confront the the status quo, you will still die anyway. We know so that. Which we one agree is with better? That. We agree. And with so that. you are saying, oh look, no, uh, have organized. Just say today you want to talk about health. You want to protest about health, and then we will just take health. No, because the man who is also Suffering education will tell you anyway when you get to education, call me. For now, you people are facing exactly. your own problem. That's not the way it is no, done. No, we're all suffering. The, the way same thing. Uh, that's the word. All of us collectively Let's find something are suffering. that we can buy. And into. the only thread that is running across all of this, which was what Seidu started with, is bad governance. And so when you come out, what in, in um, 2012, when we came out to say uh, we want to occupy Lagos because we want good governance. But the problem we had then was that while Labour were discussing with the government, mm -hmm. nobody was discussing on our behalf. Okay, we have, we, have, we, have to it, we have to leave it okay. there. Okay, so Aisha says, there is a time to face up to our fears and essentially look death in the face. After the break, I'm looking at things from a slightly different perspective and saying there's a time to hold and a time to let go.